desert border between Luxor and Abydos is the impressive Hathor Temple of Dendera, one of ancient Egypt's most important cities. The existence of the sanctuary for the goddess of love, music, dance and joy dates back to the early ancient empire of 2000 years BC. The goddess Hathor is usually depicted with a human body, but with the ears, horns and head of a cow. The exact meaning of these portrayals, which were later associated with those of the Greek goddess of love Aphrodite, is not yet fully understood. However, with the help of both the hieroglyphs and the illustrations on the walls of the temple, much of this ancient region's history has been deciphered. Hathor's sanctuary was referred to in Pharaoh Cheops' scriptures, facts relating to the later extension of the temple area ordered by the kings of the 12th dynasty have also been preserved. Over the years, the deciphering of the hieroglyphs has revealed numerous ancient fertility rites and also a comprehensive impression of Dendera. After Egypt was conquered by Alexander the Great in 332 BC, one of his generals established the king's house of the Ptolemaeans. The design of the Hathor temple originates from late Ptolemaic times. Construction of the temple began in 30 BC. This time the country was under Roman rule. The emperors Augustus and Tiberius finally completed the temple in 14 AD. Architecturally, the monumental sanctuary of Dendera very much resembles other Egyptian temples in Esna, Edfu and Kom Ombo. Being the last sovereign of the Ptolemaeans, legendary Egyptian Queen Cleopatra has been immortalized on the southern outer wall of the temple. The mighty walls of this building were constructed on the remains of a previous structure and the much older Hathor temple. However, despite its splendid exterior, its true dimensions are to be found within. 24 proud columns support the ceiling of the Proneus, the main entrance hall.
Although the temple was dedicated mainly to Hathor, further gods, such as her beloved husband Horus and their son Aihi, were also worshipped. Today, those who exchange the light of day for the temple's dark interior cannot fail to be moved by the solemn ambience of this sacred place. In spite of extensive scientific effort, a complete translation of the hieroglyphs has not yet been made. Numerous texts and images describe various rituals that took place within the temple. The celebration of the beautiful union was the most important festivity in Dendera. Each year, the statue of the goddess Hathor was taken from deep within the temple and transported into a great procession to Edfu the sanctuary of Hathor's husband, Horus. For security reasons, only one chamber is open to the public. This section once contained 12 secret crypts. the Chamber of Techniques, several hieroglyphs have recently been discovered, as well as an illustration of something that resembles a modern light bulb. Numerous myths and legends abound with regard to the amazing technical achievements of the ancient Egyptians. Close to the mighty Hathor temple are three fascinating buildings dedicated to birth. They date back to the 30th dynasty of the pharaohs and also to Roman times. They were consecrated to the birth of Aihi, youthful god of music and the son of Hathor. The oldest of these buildings was built during the reign of Nectanebus I in the 4th century BC. Between these two birth houses are the ruins of a small church. These are early Christian traces of the Copts. Thus, the incredible history of Dandera as an important place of worship can be traced back to a period that extends from antiquity to the golden years of the Roman Empire and to the roots of Christianity.